Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Recently Wargaming came up with a little idea. An idea that I would like to think was designed to encourage clan unity and teamwork and that idea was to basically farm some ace tanker medals in a tank, any tank, in tiers 8 through to 10. Pretty straightforward and simple idea and certainly not one that you would think would create any kind of drama. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Clans across all the servers, however, have taken up this challenge and, in some cases, have also done little intra-clan competitions between themselves. But some of the responses I have seen from the community does make me wonder if anybody actually plays this game for fun and enjoyment anymore. I've seen it all, from accusing clans of cheating, to being unsporting, and even to players having low self-esteem to the extent they're only playing the lesser played tanks in order to get those aces. I mean, wow. These are some pretty big claims to make. These types of responses, however, are not new, not even unique. In fact, they are being more and more the norm rather than the exception. It seems to me that we, as a community, are suddenly seeming to live for nothing more than moaning and whining rather than having any sort of fun or pleasure. I mean, come on. This is a tiny little community competition. One that was meant to bring the community together in a competitive type of way. And it's actually caused some angry backlash. But why? Why is there backlash? I mean, the rules for the competition are pretty straightforward. Roll out in a tier 8, tier 9 or tier 10 tonk and get an ace. Sounds pretty easy and straightforward to me. And it's something that is quite possibly open to a vast majority of the player base. Yet, all I see are complaints. People moaning and groaning about the clans who are leading, people throwing accusations left, right and centre, and people just finding and looking for reasons to moan, whinge and cry foul over something so meaningless and petty that it really beggars belief. I mean, who cares who wins? Who cares who gets the most aces? Did people, clans, roll out, play the game and have a little bit of fun whilst doing so? No doubt many out there did exactly that, had a little bit of fun. But there also seems to be so many who clearly find almost zero fun in anything this game has to offer and play, or so it seems, just to find something to moan about. We find negativity almost everywhere. MM, RNG, the dreaded crates. I mean, you name it, we moan about it. So is there anything we actually like about this game? Is there anyone out there that actually enjoys playing it and at least mildly entertained? Are you not entertained? Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be holier than thou here. I mean, I freely admit, I also express negative views on certain aspects. Why don't you knock it off with them negative waves? One of my tried and trusted gripes being the fiasco that was 5.5, tear rushing and stuff like that. But I actually do roll out and have some fun, despite these negative thoughts on various parts of the game. I don't truly bemoan MM, because I don't really think MM is actually to blame. I think MM actually does what it's designed to do. I mean, it's not designed to take into account the player base, i.e. your skill level, your battle experience, etc. Just the tanks and the tiers. Yes, I bemoan 5.5, but I also know it will never be reversed, so I get over it. Yeah, I will still express my opinion. Why not? No rules, no laws against that. But knowing that it's here to stay, I mean, after all, we are quickly approaching update 8.1, I have to adapt, improvise, and overcome to the impact of 5.5. Yes, I hate the dreaded crates, but no one forces me to spend my cash or my gold, and I have refused point blank 
to drop a single penny on both the AMX, Defender or even the TS5, choosing to wait until they come around again at a later date, rather than chance my luck on such tanks that I find to be mediocre at best. And I'm a bloody tank collector! Ironically, it is we, the players, who get to make certain choices. Okay, we didn't really have that luxury over the ATGM fiasco, but it was eventually resolved, albeit like at a later date. But generally, we ourselves are free to make our own choices, choose our own direction, and how we wish to be entertained. Are you not entertained? So what exactly is it that stops us from having a little bit of fun? And from being positive, from actually enjoying Blitz for what it is, merely a game. Oh look, I understand it's frustrating, but what game isn't frustrating? I get you feel a multitude of emotions, normally in just one single battle, from the highs of getting massive damage and an ace, to the lows of being turned over 7-0 because you're in a team of potatoes and you will make the wrong decision. But in the grand scheme of things, do these things really matter? Does it really matter that you lose? Okay, it's annoying and the idea of the game is to win, but losing is part of the game, guys. No one realistically has a true 100% win rate. Losing streaks are also a pain in the backside and they're totally annoying. But why not change the tank that you're in, or the tier, or even take a break and come back to the game later? Almost everything about this game, to an extent, actually rests with us, the player. And most, if not almost everything, is within our own control. Okay, you get potato teams. Tough luck. Deal with it. Get over it. Move on. Okay, there's toxicity. The player's calling you all sorts of names. Okay. Well, if you can't ignore that, then just turn off the chat. Ironically, most of the negativity in this game we bring to the table ourselves. Probably all of us, with the exception of his royal fatness, because his uncanny laid-back attitude sort of gets around that. But we are all, to an extent, to blame for a majority of what goes on. So instead of looking for the next minor issue to fly off the handle at, try, at the very least, to be entertained. Are you not entertained? Anyway, I've been Fujit, and that is being just a brief take on some of the things I've been seeing recently. Because, guys, there's more to life than picking fault in every single aspect of this game. And in the words of Forrest Gump. And that's all I have to say about that. So by all means, comment, like, and everything below. Because I'd love to understand your thoughts, the community, and what you think about all of this. And until the next time, guys, remember, it's just a game. So look for the positives rather than the negatives all the time. And stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it really is all about having fun and being happy oh and of course are you not entertained i know i am <laughs> <laughs>